right, this is a full moon reading for Capricorn. Um, this is the September corn full moon for Aries. Um, Aries is kind of like the pioneer spirit. Ambitious is the first to do something, first to try something new, you know, trendset or whatever. So, within this energy, there's a lot of, like, goal-oriented things, a lot of, you know, uh, stuff that you might need to leave behind in order to achieve certain things in your personal life, career, or, or side hustle. So... Anyway, your goal for this cycle is going to be radical acceptance. So that could be a little bit new for you to adapt to a particular situation. Most Capricorns can, some Capricorns can't. It depends of what you're exactly dealing with, whether it's in or out of your comfort zone. So, you know. Anyway, your first question is going to be the goal for this cycle. Goal for this cycle is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is good things on repeat, um, getting good results, lottery and gambling wins, change, inevitable fate, destiny, fate being in your favor, and cycles. So there's a bit of... Um, you know, a bit of good luck that you need for your situation. And I feel like you've been waiting a long time for it, which it has everybody else. But it's uh, it's something that your, you know, your mind, heart, and your soul really desire at the moment to be lucky at a particular thing in your life. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. But, you know, hopefully it's for the best, right? Anyway, number... Two, we have what must you have to leave behind, or mu what must you leave behind? We have justice. So justice is, um, you will get what you deserve for the better. Positive legal outcomes, uh, cause and effect, clarity, good contracts, and commitments made, truth. So you might be leaving this behind. Because it's in the past. Like, you, you already did that, been there, done that. And you were right probably about a lot of things. But there's, like, other things to do now. And it's like, alright, I, I got that. And then I had to, you know, try to keep winning, you know. It might be the fact that you need money at the current moment. Or you need some promotion or something to really progress forward. So that's kind of what you're looking forward to. We have number three with how can you release your inner warrior? Um, hopefully not in front of the authority figures. Uh, ha ha, that's a joke. But um, we have the Knight of, I think it's Wands. The Knight of Wands and it's action being taken, things getting done, a change of home, fearlessness, something tangible, um, getting the job done, a go-getter, and adventure. So you might actually be kind of adventuring forward, looking for new things to do, or kind of uh, trying to propel yourself forward in a particular way, shape, or form. Uh, you're you're kind of a little bit more daring than usual, so you, know, you might actually be asking for a raise. You might actually be doing a few things to get, um, you know, to the next stage in your life, the next chapter, you know, or to provide for your family. So it could be a little bit of everything. So let's see. Number four, what fuels your drive, whatever it is, it's like 10% ethanol, <laughs> uh, and it doesn't go into Prius. Anyway, so, number four, what fuels your drive is the tower in reverse. The tower in reverse is a major loss of money, suicidal thoughts, um, and tendencies, or complete failure, fear of suffering, uh, divorce heartache, disaster avoided, 
uh, shocking endings and delayed disaster. So there's something here that is actually coming uh, kind of close for comfort. So you might be constantly in will it happen, won't it happen type of thing. But um, I, I feel like you're fighting your way forward so you don't have to deal with being a complete failure. You're dealing with making ends meet at, the, at this point in time. And then it will hopefully progress forward into... Being secure, which is a hard thing to do right now. I I feel it myself. I'm, I, I'm, you know, I'm I'm making it, but I'm not making it, making it. You know what I mean? Um, I can pay bills, but food's a different story. It's like uh, I need to go in my back garden and get some, you know, eggplant or something. But um, other than that, I feel like it, it's always going to be like a tight spot, you know. Anyway, Capricorn, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. I will be listing your angel uh, number down below in case you need extra guidance for your particular situation where it kind of gives you more insight about what's happening um, so that you can make a better decision and, you know, know what to do in case. Sometimes angel cards are very... Uh, perceptive of what your situation is so hopefully it does resonate for a lot of you that are seeking that extra uh, guidance okay anyway uh, Capricorn hopefully this helps you out in some way shape or form uh, enjoy the full moon it's really pretty <laughs> I had to take some pictures for my Christmas card I, I'll be sending those out soon uh, to my relatives, so, you know, you might want to do that yourself. It's really pretty out. Anyway, so, uh, Capricorn, I will see you in the next reading. Hopefully everything works out. I know it's, it's going to be a hard one, but hopefully it, it, it works out. <laughs> I know it's hard. Just, uh, keep pulling through, keep trying to get, like, extra, uh, things done. If you can get extra shifts at work and stuff, that usually helps. I had to at least take one day where I work like either two shifts at work or more just to make sure I have a little bit more in my paycheck. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.